it's magical is what it is. And when it's been 30 years and we've all been chasing what we we're going to do in life, it's wonderful to get back. And I told them to enjoy the moment. You don't know when we're ever going to get back together again. And I'm really happy that Marshall is identifying this group because without this group, none of this might be here. And I think a lot of people take that for granted. But these kids and what they did in 84 set the stage for everything that followed. Uh, these guys like my brothers. When we walked down that ramp in Fairfield, we went to battle every Saturday. And we stuck together like brothers. And to see everyone again, I had chills. I, I wish I could put a uniform on and play. That's how I feel right now. I, I would love to play, but these guys, I'll never forget them as long as I live. This program has come so far since we played. It's just amazing. Great feeling to be able to see a facility from what we played at at Fairfield Stadium and, and to be able to come to a facility like this with, with our same program and, and know that we helped turn that program to get to where it is today and you know and being hometown and, and being in North Carolina for so many years, being able to come back and see all these great friends that, that we keep in contact with and, and being able to come back here and support the team, it's, it's a great feeling. There's a lot of camaraderie. Uh, with the guys that are on this on the 84 squad span from 1981 to 87, from when we went to win the, the first Southern Conference game in 81 to the one AA National Championship in 87. So that was a real transformation in Marshall University football. So the camaraderie and, and, uh, and the building of that, the program during those years was really something special. I think Coach Barry summed it up best last night at our reunion. He's been in a Super Bowl locker room as the offensive coordinator of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He won the national championship as offensive coordinator of Michigan. And he said neither one of those two events could match the euphoria that we had. I got chills as I'm telling you. In the locker room at uh, East Tennessee State when we beat them 31 to 28. To get that monkey off our back, come back to Huntington and we had I don't know how many thousands of people walking on us back and we went six and five it wasn't like we won the national championship right but three short years later we played for the national championship a few years after that we became the winningest program of the 1990s and uh, just really really special to be part of it